put Paul under a lot of pressure because look at that, just those final few meters, it came down to that final stroke. Who had it on the glide? And it was Kevin Paul <laughs> who just got it on that touch, making it even sweeter, that victory for the South African. A very proud swimming tradition in South Africa. Kevin Paul celebrates. <laughs> It's just been a lot of hard graft really, uh, it's kind of been six years of work uh, and I've got my medical finals in May. I think there's been points where it's been overwhelming, just the support from the team around me is the main thing that's got me through. So I've always been able to come back here and talk to people, talk to my coaches, sports psychology, anything I need uh, and they've kind of helped me to get through it because there have been times when I've kind of felt like it wasn't possible to do the two together. Uh, but so far we've, we've made it work. As long as you're disciplined and you manage your time well. I think it's fantastic, obviously, for table tennis it's great for it to be involved. Um, I think for Paralympic sport it's great as well because it obviously, it obviously shows that in on the Gold Coast when it was first included that uh, they thought it was good, they thought it was a good spectator sport, the event went really, really well. Uh, I was pleased I could be a part of that, that very first game that's so hopefully going to lead to a lot more. So yeah, really delighted. I think it'd be fantastic. Um, I competed in London in 2012, so I obviously know what that feeling is like and it is one of the best feelings you can have as a sports person to compete in front of a home crowd. When I played in Australia, um, it didn't feel so different to an Olympic or Paralympic Games. It still had that feel of a, of a massive multi-sport event um, and I think to, to get the chance possibly to perform in front of a home crowd again would be, would be really